It's been a compelling game so far. The fourth quarter is underway. Ball's controlled by the Raptors. Leonard to Lowry. To Danny Green. Strong finish that time for Danny Green. Oh, man, did you see that swiftness? He dumped that thing like a tennis ball. It looked like that in his hand. Mills in possession. The lead stands at nine. Down low, Aldridge. Their shot no good by Aldridge. Leonard to Danny Green. Here's Leonard for two. Unbothered by the defense as he drills it. It's so good to see Kawhi back and flourishing on the court. Remember last offseason, there were a lot of questions about where he would end up. But I'm glad to see he's playing like a franchise guy, and he's proving it tonight. Lowry to Ibaka. To Leonard. Five to shoot for Toronto. Danny Green to Ibaka. Beyond the arc for three. Cleans it up. And a put back slam. Valanciunas giving you that sides, giving you that length. A guy that can extend the defense. But you kind of forget that he was the fifth pick taken overall in 2011. Aldridge. Valanciunas with the denial. Blocking so many shots only gives your perimeter that much more confidence to really apply more pressure. Time for some reinforcement. Greg Popovich will switch things up. Rudy Gay. Oh, blocked away. This game is all about playing mind tricks on people. The offense is more worried about getting their shot blocked than they are about actually making the shot. Leonard. Shot off the mark. Good defense. And look, sometimes you don't have it going every single night. Maybe utilize yourself as a decoy and get some teammates involved with your passing. Rudy Gay to Patty Mills. Screen coming. Fires the three. Had made his first couple, but he misses there. When cold shooting like this starts in the second half, maybe utilize a head fake. Get that defender in the air, jump into him, create some contact, get to the free throw line. Lowry to Leonard. Has a chance. He's looking for that touch. And you have to remember that your hand is part of the ball. There wasn't enough contact on that play for the refs to blow the whistle. And he's fouled. Earns a trip to the foul line, Jay. I'm watching the coach's reaction right now, and I'll tell you, he's not going to be happy about that. The game comes down to the micro details. That wasn't a part of the plan right there. First one goes down. Moving in for San Antonio, number five, DeJounte Murray. Moves two for two at the line. the basketball to Valanciunas takes stock of the floor defender is right there he has to know better we call some of these players practice players you know the guys that make five out of ten shots in practice but then all of a sudden they're not gamers because then they're making one of ten that's exactly what you want him to do you want him to take those kind of shots Three. Murray into the front court. They lead it. Four point game. Dejounte Murray to Rudy Gay. Off the mark. Well contested. And you see so many players quit on the play after they were beat the first time. But not him. He stayed on his hip. He fought back. And he made the player miss the shot. That's great defense. Time to adjust. Both coaches making changes on the floor. So again, for San Antonio, number 18, Marco Villanueva. DeRozan to Rudy Gay. Here's a chance from long range. That's off the side of the rim, short. As a team, they were an absolute terror in the first half. But guess what happens during halftime? The defensive team makes adjustments, and it looks like it's working out. 
to Danny Green. To Leonard. Inside, he scores. You normally don't see that, but that's the type of thing that keeps shooters in the league for a long time. Every once in a while, they venture into the paint. To Rudy Gay. To Gasol. To Rudy Gay. To Murray. They've slowed down the pace. Now three on the shot clock. That's off the side of the rim. No good. It's the Raptors with the basketball. Danny Green. To Lowry. Fires the three. He was all over. Just because you're an elite shooter doesn't mean you need to shoot the ball every possession. Maybe give a head fake, crack into the defender, get to the free throw line, see the ball go in the hole. Driving right to the basket. Right down the lane, but the shot won't go. Why are you even guarding a bad shooter that close in the first place? This is psychological warfare. Leave him open. Make him think about it before he shoots. And he's fouled. Very close. Free throws coming up. No, no, no. I'll tell you, the team that makes the little mistakes, like committing unnecessary reaching fouls like that, will be the team that ends up with the L. No back-to-back -back free throws here. He missed the second. Murray with the basketball. Leads one. Going to launch beyond the arc. Lowry with it. His guys now down by a point. Lowry to Leonard. Gets it in the left corner. Kawhi Leonard. Well defended. Shot no good. If it was anyone else, they'd be back on the bench for taking that shot. Let's be realistic. He's probably not going to miss a lot of shots. But the more effort you can give, you want to try to tire him out. Take his legs away. Make him work to catch the ball. That's how you win the defensive battle. Danny Green. Pascal Siakam, strong finish. Well, the shooting has been spectacular, but one of the things that I've seen as the difference maker in this ballgame is how they are catching the basketball. They're not establishing a pivot foot, which leaves the defense wondering which way you can drive, but when that shot is working like that, you got it any way you want. Gasol. DeRozan. That's off the side of the rim. Short. Lowry into the front court. His team up by one. Lowry. Textbook defense. Notice that the defense isn't giving him as much space anymore. They're crowding him every time he catches the ball and really getting into his legs defensively. Count it, and the foul. He is going to the line for a free throw. So many times we get on the defender for quote unquote letting the offensive player score on the and one. Sometimes there's a lucky bounce, but more often than not, it's the offensive player who makes the play happen despite the defender's best intentions. Can't convert the free throw. Across the timeline, it's Lowry. His guys now trailing by a point. Lowry. And he's fouled. A trip to the line coming up. The game is too tight for you to be taking risks like that. You want to avoid foul trouble at all costs. First one. San Antonio with the basketball to Aldridge. To DeRozan. To Patty Mills. Here comes the screen. Shot in the lane, won't go. Your contest was great because of your proximity to the player. You forced his follow through to be cut short, which made him short arm the shot. Siakam to Leonard. Finish 
Finishing inside the paint on that one. Attack mode isn't a switch that you can just turn on and off. He needs to do more of that. We need to see him penetrate, get into that lane, and create. DeRozan with it. His guy's down three. DeRozan to Patty Mills from long range. That's off the side of the rim, no good. To Leonard. Danny Green. To Leonard. Has a look. Can't connect. Defense did its job that time. Mills in possession. Down three. Nice follow-up on the dunk there. DeMar DeRozan is a beast. He's been an all-star for the last five years, and he was a second-team All-NBA last year. But unfortunately, us as part of the media and the fans, we determine your legacy by you winning championships. He's still chasing you. First free throw is good. And he makes them both. Now listen, San Antonio is going to use a timeout. They're going to have to draw something up for an open look at a three. Gears. Here come some substitutions. Blessings. Snips is in my section. Y'all with all this money, I'm obsessing. Weapon. Turning off y'all extras. Turning off this bullshit direction. Turning up my crime. Waking up to more pressure, but it's all in your mind, so I never feel pressure.